County was the first physician doing the um, reverse shoulder replacement, which is for patients that have what we call cuff tear arthropathy. And what cuff tear arthropathy is, is in patients that have got had chronic cuff tears, the um, proximal humerus or the, the shoulder bone actually migrates up to uh, a bone called the acromion in the shoulder and you get arthritic changes in that joint and quite severe arthritic changes in that joint. In the past, the typical procedure for that was just either debriding the joint arthroscopically and seeing how patients did or going in and putting what we call an overstuffed uh, humeral replacement, which is putting in a prosthesis, half a prosthesis, because we couldn't put in both sides of the joint because there wasn't a cuff available. Um, we would put in half a joint replacement. We would oftentimes give people better pain but didn't improve their motion. In the last uh, few years, uh, we've had the ability to put in what's called a reverse shoulder replacement. And what that is, is instead of having the um, ball on the humeral side or the, the shoulder side and the cup uh, on the scapular side, it actually reverses that. So the ball is on the scapular side the cup is on the humeral side of the shoulder, and patients without a rotator cuff now can power their shoulder um, motion with their large deltoid muscles. So it's taken a patient population uh, that we typically do not have a great treatment for and given them uh, not just pain relief but far better motion. So you can take somebody with 30 to 50 degrees of um, elevation and get them up to anywhere from 110, 120, or uh, even uh, the, some patients with near full range of motion. So it's, it's been something that's been done over in Europe for 20 years now, but just in the last um, four or five years has it been something more common in the United States. And it's, it's some of the happiest patients that I do surgery on are patients that haven't been able to move their shoulder uh, very well for a number of years or have very painful shoulders with any type of motion. Uh, if they are candidates for reverse shoulder, they tend to be ecstatic um, once you've done this uh, procedure on them.